Every death that occurs from an asbestos exposure could be prevented. Don't be fooled, there is a connection. Everything just ties together. I don't know what I can do. It's hard to describe what ADAO has been in my life. I certainly can't imagine it without ADAO. We've come a long way, and I'm really proud of ADAO. Keep me in your heart for a while. We wanted to take uh, the opportunity to welcome you all to our family. Uh, for some of us tonight, it is rekindling old friendships, and for others, we're making new ones. Everyone in this room is connected by some strange shard from asbestos. Whether or not it's impacted our families, maybe we're clinicians and we work in hospitals to treat the disease, maybe we represent those victims' families in a court of law, and maybe we're the scientists that talk to members of Congress in hopes to drive those hard scientific facts home. And there's also some wonderful other um, organizations here, like um, Mesothelioma Applied Research and also PAC Lab. So we have quite a, quite a mixture of folks. So, a couple of things that we just wanted to run through. One is we really want you to feel at home at our conference. Um, as an all-volunteer organization, we spend 12 months putting together this conference, and you can never attend a conference with 400 years of experience in one day like ours. So I hope that you sleep well tonight because there's very little time tomorrow, for those of you probably smiling who have come to our conferences before. It's intense, but there's no place like it, and I hope that it will... Um, recharge your batteries, uh, both at home and in our advocacy arena. So tonight we have a really fun thing happening. We use this as our meet and greet, so we can really get together. I urge and encourage those who do like to have libations to hit the bar. Jordan's going to uh, perform uh, in about 10 minutes with Jordan Summers. Uh, Jordan Zivon is our national spokesperson, and his father, Warren Zivon, died of mesothelioma. So um, he has done an amazing job throughout the United States and actually internationally to, to raise raise awareness. Now, the work that we've done for the past seven years when Doug Larkin and I started this um, strange encounter uh, back in 2004, it was through our hardships and pain when uh, my husband Alan was diagnosed and Doug's father-in-law was also diagnosed with mesothelioma. And this has become a family organization through the Larkin and Reinstein families, but then all of you have joined us. And I'm looking in the, in the audience and I'm seeing faces smiling because there's so many of you that are really close to us. Um, so you can't put on a conference like this and videotape it like we do with Sue Ann Taylor and Matthew Christensen, which we put all of our video, video presentations. For those of you presenting, please make sure you see Sherry and sign that form. We actually put all the content on the web so people around the world can hear Dr. Rossler or Dr. Black um, and many of our other speakers without paying a dime. Um, that doesn't come easy. We have to fundraise to put on these conferences. Um, and ADO is such a, a volunteer-driven organization that we can take these dollars and put on a conference that's quite amazing and, and make these legacies. We're, we're really proud. We're one of the few organizations that will completely videotape content um, and put it out on the web. So we're going to do some gratitude moments throughout the entire weekend. And the first one will come from the Simmons firm, which because of the, the Simmons firm and their advocacy levels, they have been one of the um, platinum sponsors for us for many years. They are a signature sponsor. Uh, they've been working with us since, I think, 06, but Mark will set it straight, right? Um, and because of the Simmons um, donations, we're able to uh, put on the meet and greet and others. So you can take a look at the sponsorship board and see the level of giving that we've had. So for one second, I don't usually get to, yes. I encourage you to look around and make friends. Uh, Dr. Richard Lemon and Dr. Arthur Frank are on our science advisory board. There are really terrific people here in the audience. Um, but there is one person that during the, the weekend I would like you to possibly reach out to. That's my daughter, Emily Reinstein, who's sitting there in the middle. She's like, why is my mom doing it? Emily, stand up, please. So it's... <laughs> As all of you know in your 
personal and professional life, when you do these kinds of things, sometimes it, it spills over into your other home world. And because of Emily's belief in what we do and Doug Larkin's family, we've been able with our volunteers to continue. And I'm really proud um, and, and filled with gratitude to have our volunteers. And we're going to go through the entire list. But so Sherry, uh, tomorrow we'll go through a full list. But in case you need something, we have Sherry here. We have Suzanne, of course, Doug Larkin. Um, and all of a sudden, I had brain fade. Elise is here. So we look, look for an ADO volunteer if you have a question. Um, Jordan Zivon is going to pop back down and start a set. He said he'd be down in about five minutes. And I, I, I ex expect him to be on time, which he usually is. So grab some food, glass of wine, and please uh, relax and enjoy our family for the entire weekend. And if you have any questions or problem during the weekend, um, I'm, as most of you know, an open book and happy to try to help. And so are other volunteers. So please reach out and ask questions if we can do anything. So. Eat, drink, be merry, go to bed early tonight because tomorrow's a long day, but it's a good day. Um, when Jordan comes up, we're going to do something very unusual. We're going to symbolically light the first candle, which is the beginning of Asbestos Awareness Week, which has gone global based on demand. And I think we can do a shout out to Senator Baucus for passing that resolution. He's been a champion. And tonight, we will solemnly remember those who have lost their lives. Um, it's not just single people. It's not just the patients that lose their battles. But it's the families that stay behind and try to recapture, renew, rebuild, and relive. And tonight, we solemnly remember those we have lost. And then on the 7th, we take that opportunity to embrace those uh, cancer survivors or asbestos victims who are survivors and are, who, are, who are challenged. And, and they, are, they empower other people with hope. So we'll do candle lighting both on the 1st and on the 7th. So enough rabble babble for me. Enjoy your drinks. Jordan will be here soon. And have a great weekend. And thank you for coming. And I'd like to introduce Mark Motley from the Simmons Firm, who is sponsoring this event. You probably want to say a couple words. Perry's not here. Bummer, but we get you, and we're happy you're here. Hello, I'm Mark Motley. Uh, I'm not an attorney, as uh, my friend Julie likes to say. I uh, just play one on TV. Um, I, I head up the firm's um, communications. And so on behalf of the partners of the firm and, and all of our attorneys, uh, we're, we're happy to be here, uh, happy to see a lot of familiar faces. This is a cause that is near and dear to us. Uh, as, as it is to all of you. Uh, thank you to Linda and Doug for making everyone feel so welcome. Um, this is going to be a great, great weekend, and uh, enjoy. Welcome to the Buckhead Marriott, or as I described it to the cab driver after my red-eye flight, the Buckethead Marriott. I wish I made that up. And you think maybe the cab driver would say, oh, silly, it's not Buckethead. He just went, Buckhead Marriott, great, got it. Welcome to Atlanta. I've got the world on a string I keep it wrapped around my neck Living on the street of dreams Just got my notice to evict These days I only see the sunset Through my rearview mirror And the objects of my life are further than they once appear But there's this girl There's this girl There's this girl There's this girl This girl who guides me through the pain Puts me on my feet again There's this girl there's this girl, and there's this girl Ooh, 
never seems like I've been having one of those days Since sometime back in 1998 And I turn around to surely on the way Or maybe that's me spinning down the drain And I suppose my woes are only momentary stains just one foot through a door and all my worries wash away Cause there's this girl There's this girl There's this girl There's this girl This girl's my private Avalon an island miles from all that's wrong There's this girl, there's this girl and There's this girl There's this girl The rescue from the pessimist avalanche There's this girl Who loves a bit a victim of circumstance Yeah, yeah, that's this girl this girl, there's this girl, there's this girl, this girl whose eyes can light my way through the haze that fills my day. There's this girl, there's this girl, there's this girl. Thank you very much. Hey, Mary. Who's that? Where's my laundry? I will be your paper pioneer If you'd be my willing volunteer At least you've got the face to save Cross your fingers till it's payday If you be me within the year If you love and honor I'll obey to pave the way until it's payday On our own we've got enough to go on But together we'll have to work to live on Hold the landlord off at bay Stiff the pipe until it's payday Armed with our wax-winged Achilles heels Tales of bravely useless ideals As long as we keep pride at bay Any day will soon be payday on our own, we've got enough to go on But together, we'll have to work to live on Hold the landlord off a day Stiff the pipe till it's payday Yeah, 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 right
nothing got too far to go, so we must try. Got to kind of keep a pride and tow. Yeah, yeah, hold the landlord off at bay. Stiff the piper till it's payday. I will be your paper pioneer. If you'd only stay till payday I will be your paper pioneer, I'll be paper pioneer. If you'd only stay till payday Stay, 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 stay. Won't you stay? I want you stay, want you stay, want you stay. Stay another day, stay another day. Stay, stay, stay. Won't you stay? Won't you stay? Yeah. If you'd only stay to pay. Thank you very much. Just another low prospects man I'd rather work in the foundry Than put fishes in a can I'm 35 and I haven't traveled far And I spent all my money on this misbegotten car I'm up against it all like a leaf against the wind And my Studebaker Keeps on breaking down again My Studebaker Keeps on breaking down again I thought I'd go to Fresno Just to see my friend But my damn Studebaker Keeps on breaking down again I was speeding south on 99 When the manifold started smoking I ran her off the shoulder And now the axle's broken It made a sound that cracked my heart in half And with only half a half pound of vodka left I'm up against it all Like a leaf against the wind my Studebaker keeps on breaking down again My Studebaker keeps on breaking down again I thought I'd go to Fresno just to see my friend But my damn Studebaker keeps on breaking down again and my Studebaker keeps on breaking down again My Studebaker keeps on breaking down again I 
thought that I'd go to Fresno just to see my friends. But my damn Studebaker keeps on breaking down again. Thank you very much. So I forgot my hanging bag. This is my outfit courtesy of the Buckhead Macy's. There's a prom going on here, so you can take bets. What comes first? Somebody asks me to bring the car around or gives me their dinner order. I'm thinking car. If, it was, if I was at the Palm... If it was a red vest? I could car. be seating people you if I was be. at the Palm. I'm going to give you 20 for a seat right there where she's sitting and not, and not watching. This is the ode to Camilla Rhodes First on our block to wear fluorescent clothes I don't know why I'm wasting my time Singing about Camilla Rhodes Camilla Rhodes Camilla Rhodes Her best friend, Susie, was three they communicate through ESP. His name is NG, and he's a stuffed dog. Yes, you heard right. He's a stuffed dog. Camel the Rose. Camel the Rose. Oh my God, you guys, you know what? What? Oh my God, you guys, you know what? What? Oh my God, you guys, you know you had to be there. You had to be there. While waiting in line to see how to hold, she confessed to me that she was Jesse's girl. Obsessed with G.H. is Noah Drake's episode. And two o'clock rolled, the world was on hold. Camel around. Here we go. Oh my God, you guys, you know what? what? Oh my God, you guys, you know what? what? Oh my God, you guys, you know you had to be there. You had to be there. There's no clue that anything's wrong For proof just go to pinkfairyland.com She steals all our jokes, I'm telling you folks She'll take credit for this song This is the ode that Camilla's owed For all the teasing that we've bestowed Lest we forget to pay our respects To the one and only Camilla Rose I always knew that you were out of your mind But now you know that you never left mine Oh my God, you guys, you know what? What? Oh my God, you guys, you know what? What? Oh my God, you guys, you know you had to be there You had to be there Oh my God, you guys, you know what? what? Oh my God, you guys, you know what? what? Oh my God, you guys, you know you had to be there. You had to be there.
Where's Sean? Tough him out. Where did Sean go? Sean. This one's for Sean. Where's Sean? Where's, where's Sean? Where's Sean? I can't do the new song without Sean. Oh, tch. Sean, it's a there new song. Go. New song. It's called Sean. It's called Sean on Harvest Moon. Up in the sky. I knew a guy named Sean in Atlanta. I knew it sounded familiar. All right, so this is a... Oh, nobody's listening. This is a new song, new record. All right. I got no money. I got no friends, ain't got a thing on which my life depends. I ain't got no reasons, ain't got no rhymes. I just reside here behind the times. Got no agenda, got no regrets. All I've been through hasn't killed me yet. Ain't looking forward or stuck in reverse. I'll ride it out until I'm hailing the hearse. I'm gonna make it, but I may or may not I gotta take it, but I may or may not Make no mistake in that I may or may not The time has come, but then I may or may not May or may not Got no opinion, I got no cause I'm headed straight for the exit clause. Women and children can get in line. I come and get you after I get mine. Load up the caddy, load up the guns. I'm feeling stupid and that's always fun. No misdemeanors, I'm felony bound. Gonna tear up the town till it's all tore down. I'm gonna make it, but I may or may not Make no mistake, but I may or may not The time has come, but then I may or may not I gotta take it, but I may or may not May or may not Mom pa said it's no big thing Write a dozen songs and get some ch 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 ching but what the forecast didn't foresee is writing C it doesn't make them give a fuck about me And the bloggers in the basement under mommy's feet Trying to gauge my distance from the family tree If you think it's easy being me Walk a mile and you might start to bump up a lead Draw blood Apparently I may or may not Fulfill my destiny I may or may not I gotta take it but I may or may not Forget the pleasantries I may or may not Shake the disease well I may or may not It's gonna kill me but it may or may not For the finale I may or may not May or may not
soon. Come on, right? This morning, like any other morning, and I thought of you staring at the ceiling, aware but disbelieving. The feelings remind me it's true. I know you'll never be here, but I know where to find you. I'm never lonely at all Home is more Than the memories hung on the wall And home to me Is intimate And primitive As long as I have life to live My heart will be your home Some days the pain of missing makes me wish I could complain to you But I know that you'd say you think you've had a hard day You haven't got a clue Then get that look on your face It puts me back in my place And that's the best you can do in my home, I'm never lonely at all. Home is more than the memories hung on the wall. And home to me is intimate and primitive as long as I have life to live. My heart will be your home. I can say there's nothing I can do to keep you in this place that I can never lose will never be apart I'll never be alone as long as I have a life to live my heart will be your home We'll never be apart I'll never be alone My heart will be your home I'm never lonely at all My heart will be your home I'm never lonely at all My heart will be your All right, folks, this is our last song for the evening. Kind of. Oh, is it? Second to last. I think the last. Second to last? Oh, second to last. Oh, sorry, second to last. I see what you're doing. He's like a bare carpet. No, no. I see what's going on. It's up here. You're the one with the vest. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Did you ever take a moment just to stop and look around and find you might have missed a meeting or two? All the smiling faces of the strangers that surround me and I start to think I don't have a clue. Is it ignorance or bliss that fuels the never-ending happiness that I've always seemed to elude? Is it them, is it me, yank the starter on the litany and try to keep from coming unglued? It looks like the joke's on me Cause I'm the only one that isn't really having fun It looks like the joke's on me I signed the dotted line to be the perfect pug line. A massive mug of coffee that I'm hoping will arouse me From a zombie-like shade of a crude It's another somber morning Master Payton greet the dawn And as I'm yawning through the self-abuse Pick a suit that isn't stained and floor it down the freeway I must not be late Cause the bus is out of like it in And now the real pain begins to wise She laughing Cause it looks like the joke's on me Cause I'm the only one that isn't really having fun it looks like the joke's on me I signed the dotted line to be the perfect punchline And nobody told me That I'd be the folly But it looks like the joke's on me The agony of defeat With a catchy melody Standing dead on my feet Maybe someone should bury me A natural born loser Smothered in humor But it looks like the joke's on me Stumbling down the road of life Ignoring all the good advice I never had the sense to use We've all got a path to choose And stupid is as stupid do as Maybe I was born to amuse It looks like the joke's on me Cause I'm the only one that isn't really having fun It looks like the joke's on me Forget humility and I'll provide the comedy It looks like the joke's on me You check my spine, you find a burden and a kick me sign it looks like the joke's on me I'm just a bland mind yanking on a fake line And I'll keep on pulling But who am I fooling When it looks like the joke's on me Thank you very much. Jordan Summers. Jordan Zivon. But thanks for coming and thanks for making this the most successful conference thus far. Keep me in your heart for 